have uh, we have a victory dealing with the the Dakota Access Pipeline, DAPL. We have a a, a victory in that. The federal courts um, have said that the permits uh, that, uh, that they approved, that the Army Corps of Engineers approved, the United States Army Corps of Engineers approved, those federal permits violated the National Environmental Policy Act. Uh, what does the National Environmental Policy Act do? It promotes the enhancement of the environment. This was something that was put into place in 1970 under motherfucking Richard Nixon. That's right. A Nixonian law, a Nixonian act has shown that the North Dakota access, the, the, the Dakota access pipeline is actually violating environmental codes. Like that's amazing. It's like, like something that a Republican wrote 40 years ago, or is it 50 years ago? I think 50 years ago is coming back to bite pro Republican people in the ass that's fucking hilarious. That also shows you like how far the Republican Party has gone, right? Like the Republican Party has gone so far right that Richard Nixon is like a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a crook, also a conservative. <laughs> like that's that's where things have gone at this point. But that's kind of awesome. Like they like they basically prove that the construction of this pipeline um, is 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 not good for the environment. Um, so the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, the, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers now have to do a environmental impact study um, to to basically see how they violated the law. Uh, and the, <laughs> the, US Corps of, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is being chastised by these federal courts for granting these permits to let to let this pipeline be built in the first place. Right. The courts are just like, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious to me that the, US, the Army Corps of Engineers were like, I don't know, like pipelines are people. Is that is that a is that a viable excuse? Are are we buying this in the courts? No. Okay, we're gonna sit down. We're just gonna sit down and be quiet for a while. <laughs> like that's that's what it is. And they, and you can prove, right? Here's the thing is like, I don't think you need to do extensive environmental impact studies because there are already so many provable ways to, to, to show that, uh, that these pipelines are bad for the environment, that they constantly keep fucking over the environment, right? Like the Sunoco pipeline, um, that, that's up in, in the, in, in the, the North Dakota, uh, area where it, the, the, the Sunoco pipeline has had 276 incidents and caused $53 million in property damage. $53 million in property damage, 276 incidences, and we're we're still like, yeah, we need to keep building more of these. In fact, we got to extend more of these fucking things. We got to build more. I know there's like a lot of, but we need more of them, okay? This, this, the pipeline's... I mean, if we don't have these pipelines, how are people going to know how big America's dick really is? Okay, the pipeline, I don't, if you, I don't know if you can see this or not, but okay, listen, okay, the pipeline, it's like a, like a penis because there's a huge, like, do you get it? Is that something you under, I, and sometimes, as we all know, with penises, they leak. And that's just something that, that happens. Okay, that's just, we're all going to have to be okay with it. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> They've also proved that it's one of the lowest performing safety efforts in history. <laughs> like having these pipelines is one of the lowest performing safety records. Like they just they're just terrible for all we keep these pipelines and yet and yet uh I don't get hired back at certain comedy clubs or certain venues across the country because I heard a rich person's feelings a rich person that probably funds these fucking pipelines. <laughs> That's totally cool. And by me saying, hey, these pipelines are crazy and shouldn't be built, they're like, Bop, how dare he say, my, I have a lot of investment tied into these pipelines, okay? Investments that are tied directly to my penis by how big that pe- pipeline is. And these environmental impact studies are going to show what the 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 same thing that we've been yelling about for the last decade and a half, right? Like that these pipelines contaminate the water and the soil. They make the, they they poison the atmosphere that we're uh, that that we need to you know like breathe. 
just funsies. But this is a huge win for the Sioux tribe uh, that's in that area. And um, really what this could do is this could have some very large ripple effects um, that push back against uh, ALEC, which is the, um, I'm going to try to remember this, it's the American Legislative Executive Council, I believe, which is a Koch brother funded um, legal council um uh, corporation like they basically write these boilerplate laws and hand them off to states and and pay off politicians to enact these laws um so one of the one of the laws that they've they've done that to and i talked about this a few weeks ago maybe like in the middle of february or something uh, but basically uh these laws criminalize protests and the boilerplate for these laws is um is is that the if you protest a critical infrastructure such as a pipeline or um, you know anything that uh, like a crude oil factory or whatever um, or and even even up to telecom like cell towers um, all that sort of stuff if you uh, if you protest that you are considered uh, a criminal because you're going against um, critical infrastructure. It's what they deemed, right? So what does that involve? That The boilerplate says that it involves uh, some amount of a fine and some amount of jail time or prison time. So like Louisiana, I think, don't quote me on this because I'm, I'm having a little bit of a hard time remembering exactly what it is. I think it's like $100,000 in fines and up to six years in prison for, for protesting a pipeline. Uh, and really what this is, this, this law is straight up 100% unconstitutional. You're, that's part of the First Amendment, like the very first one. Um, you know, so uh, that's what these laws are. These laws, these laws are being put into place. Um, and now, now that we've, now that the courts have gone, you know, against this pipeline, against this thing, um, this is great. This, this means that we might see a ripple effect in pushing back against this law. Uh, we might see a bunch of, um, you know, uh, climate change activists and protesters in these groups, like get out of prison. Um, uh, and realistically, like what they're claiming critical infrastructure is, is kind of bullshit, right? Like real critical, critical infrastructure is us, is people, not fucking pipelines and cell towers, you know, like I get it. We all like our cell towers and our Wi-Fi and all that stuff. But like if tomorrow we find out that the, the cell towers are like killing, I don't know, like small babies or something like that. Like, I think we would instantly be like, we got to protest these towers. <laughs> we got to get these fucking things down and figure out like a new way to communicate with each other long range. Like maybe, maybe this is a bad idea. Right. Like it's it's these are these things are not critical infrastructure. We should be we should be encouraging ourselves to look for newer, um, better uh, sources of energy, more renewable sources of energy. Uh, be smarter about it um, and, uh, uh, you know, stop stop killing the environment around us. Uh, that's I mean, we're stewards of the environment in and of itself. That's that's wholly what I believe. I think that the, we are you know, stewards of the environment. We are stewards of this planet. That's why we have the cognitive leap. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy, whatever it is. Um, but, you know, I don't think we're doing a good job by uh, funding pipelines that that cause $56 million in property damage in the course of a decade. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> you know, like, that's not that's not necessary, you know. Hey, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and share and make sure that you are subscribed to uh, get alerts whenever I'm dropping new videos. I'm putting out videos uh, pretty much every single day uh, during the the old the old pandemic situation that, that we're all that we're all in together. Uh, so make sure that you guys are, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, make sure that you guys are getting notifications, um, and, uh, and, and keep up to date with all this stuff. Um, uh, what else did I, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to let you guys know about. I normally would, but right now, uh, they are all on hiatus. So, um, 
the best way to to help is with the with the sharing and making sure that you're subscribed and stuff but uh if you have the means to and you can donate uh you can donate over at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate you can make a one-time donation or you can become a sustaining member uh whatever you are able to do but it is it is absolutely uh not mandatory it is a uh extra sense of appreciation uh, for all the content that will be coming out, all of my content will be available uh, for free for you guys to view and enjoy. Uh, make sure you guys are taking care of each other. Make sure you're being good to each other. And uh, till the next one, we'll see you on the road. Thanks, guys.